Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. White and I are so happy that you joined us for another circle time. Uh, we're having a great week out here, outside, uh, talking about trees, and being out in nature, and smelling the fresh air. And uh, we're going to start today with a song, one of a uh, song about some of Tahani's favorite foods, apples and bananas. So. Here we go. We can do this together. What we're going to do is we're going to start playing with some of the vowel sounds to make up some silly words. And it goes like this. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Now let's do A. I like to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like it to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. E. I like to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like it to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. Come on, Emerson, sing louder. I like it to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like it to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like it to oat, oat, oat. Apples and bananas. I like it to oat, oat, oat. Apples and bananas. You. I like it to. much fun and what better things in the world are there than apples and bananas you know that oh apples and bananas are so good but do you know what's even better than apples and bananas what i like better than apples and bananas is our purple binder lesson that's right we are going to do our phonemic awareness Hegarty lesson and why do we do it every day that's right so we can learn how to read because we're going to be fantastic readers really really soon all right we're gonna start with our letters i'm gonna say the letter is and the sound is and pay real close attention to how we say these sounds because i see a lot of people not making sounds the right way and it really hurts my ears when i hear it so here we go all right boys and girls the letter is h the sound is huh. the letter is j the sound is J. The letter is T. The sound is T. The letter is I. The sound is I. The letter is S. The sound is S. The letter is P. The sound is P. The letter is N. The sound is N. Great job on our letters and sounds today. We're making a, we're doing a great job making our sounds. All right, now, everybody show me your two thumbs. We're gonna work on our rhyming words. I'm gonna say two rhyming words. You're, I'm gonna say two words. You're gonna say the two words. If they rhyme, you're gonna give me a thumbs up. If they don't rhyme, you're gonna give me a thumbs down. All right, here we go. I'll go first, then it's your turn. Oat wrote. That's right, thumbs up, they rhyme. Short mice. Nope, those don't rhyme. Fair chair. That's right, those are rhyming words. Keep beep. 
That's right, thumbs up, those rhyme, and next, find. Thumbs down, those don't rhyme. Oh, hold on a second. Now, take those two thumbs, point them back up, and point to the smartest kid you know. Great job. All right, now we're gonna do our beginning sound. So we're gonna punch out our beginning sound. I'll go first, then it's your turn. S -s Struck. Mm -mm mice. K -k -k Kit. Mm -mm van. Wake. Nice job with those beginning sounds. All right, now, oh, here's our new skill for this week, and you all are doing such a good job of it. I think we're ready. I'll go first, and then it's your turn. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna be blending phonemes. We're gonna take three separate sounds and then blend them together to make a word. So I'll go first, then it's your turn. B-u-g-bug. bug A pup. A g hug. S a n sun. N a t nut. Very nice job. All right, now, oh, we're gonna do our ending sound, so we're gonna reach across the word and punch that last sound up. I'll go first, and then it's your turn. Down, mm. Give, mm. Cat, t. More, er. Fuzz. All right. Now, we're gonna take our word and break it into three sounds this time. So, I'll go first, and then it's your turn. Cat. At. Map. Nice work on segmenting that word into the three separate phonemes. All right, now we're gonna add a phoneme or we're gonna add a sound to the beginning of the word. Oh, here's a great sound. Everybody say, ugh. If we add b to the beginning, we have bug. Everybody say, up. If we add p to the beginning, we have pup. Everybody say, ugh. If we add to the beginning, we have hug. Everybody say un. If we add to the beginning, we have bun. Everybody say ut. If we add n to the beginning, we have nut. Great job adding those phonemes to the, be to the beginning of the word. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna get rid of that beginning sound or that beginning phoneme. Everybody say cat. If we take away the k, we're left with at. Everybody say man. If we take away the m, we're left with an. Everybody say tag. If we take away the t, we're left with Ag. Everybody say van. If 
if we take away the we're left with and and everybody say nap if we take away the n we're left with app all right now we are going to change the beginning sound of the word so everybody say wig if we change the w to a p we have pig everybody say pig if we change the p to a we have fig. Everybody say fig. If we change the f to a b, we have big. Everybody say big. If we change the b to a r, we have rig. Everybody say rig. If we change the r to a w, we have wig. All right, here we go. Time for our nursery rhyme, and you guys have done this so great all week. We're just gonna do this together two times. I know Logs liked it, and Llama, and Seal, and Raccoon, and all of our friends. So, here we go. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. All right, one more time. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. All right, now, everybody, it's time we're gonna stand up and do our mighty minute. So everybody, let's take a second, let's stand up. All right, our Mighty Minute for today is going on a journey. So we're going to read a story, and we're going to pretend like we are going on a journey. So let's just start taking a little walk. Once upon a time, kids from Cincinnati Public School Preschool decided to visit friends that were far, far away. They washed their faces. Everybody washed their face. Oh, put on your shoes. Button their jackets. Pack some snacks. Oh, I like my gummies. Or juice box. All right. And traveled until they came to a white sandy beach. Oh no! The sand is so hot. How are we going to cross over this hot sand? Do you know what you do when you're at the beach and, and the sand is really hot? You get up on your tiptoes and you're gonna go like this. Ooh, ee, ah, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so let's all do that together. We're gonna go across this hot, sandy beach, and it is so hot, it's burning the underside of our feet. So here we go. Ah, 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 ooh, ooh, ee, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, we're in the nice water. Ooh, that feels better. All right. Oh, let's think of a different thing. Let's say they traveled until they came to a gigantic boulder. That's a big, huge rock. All right, we're gonna have to climb over this boulder now. Oh, oh, oh. Then we're gonna jump down to the bottom. Oh. Whew, all right. Oh, oh. They traveled until they came to a rushing river. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get in our boat. And we're gonna paddle the boat down the rushing river, okay? All right, here we go. We're in our boat, we got our paddle, we got our oar. Here we go. All right, all right, let's think of something else. Where else could they travel? Oh, they traveled until they were in a great big field of eggshells. And you don't wanna crush the eggshells, do you? So we are gonna slowly tippy toe. We don't wanna crush the eggshells. We're gonna slowly tippy toe. Oh, and they traveled one more time and they were in a big puddle of ooey gooey sticky mud. And it helps when you make those sound effects too. Yeah. 
Whew. And they finally made it to their friend and they went up and gave their friend a big hug. Whew. Oh, thank you for going on that journey. Let's have a seat now and we will do our story. All right, our story for today is Wimberly Worried and the author and illustrator is Kevin Hinks. And we've read this once already this week and we talked about what it's like sometimes when you worry about things and we all get worried sometimes and that's okay. But we just know how to, to deal with our worry and how to make sure we don't get ourselves too upset. So this book is called Wimberly Worried. Wimberly worried about everything. Big things, I wanted to make sure you were still here. Little things, she spilled her grape juice. And things in between. What, mama, what if I shrink? Wimberly worried in the morning, she worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on the house? And the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiator made. What if there's a snake inside? At the playground, Wimberly worried about the chains on the swing and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. As always, she worried about her doll pedal. Shouldn't pedal have a car seat too? Pedal's lost forever! I found her, sweetie. I'll wait for you, pedal. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried and worried and worried and worried. And you know, sometimes when people tell us not to worry, that makes us worry more, doesn't it? When Wimberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. But then Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wimberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. This is the best present ever. I wish I had my birthday today. But then she worried that there wouldn't be enough cake because so many people came. On Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. <clears throat> Soon Wimberly had a new worry, going to school. Wimberly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. While Wimberly's parents talked to the teacher, Miss Peachum, Wimberly looked around the room. Then Miss Peachum said, Wimberly, there was someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes and she was holding a doll. At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved and Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. 
throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimberly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wimberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, called Miss Peachum as the students walked out the door. Wimberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. Why do you think Wimberly stopped worrying as much once she got to school? Yeah, because she found a friend who was just like her. And why, why do you think, or what do you think Wimberly and Jewel had in common in the story? What did they do that was kind of the same? Yeah, they both had their doll, didn't they? So I bet that um, Jewel probably worried sometimes too, and the doll helped her not worry as much. Um, yeah, so that's a great story. And, um, oh, before we finish for the week, we're going to go on a little trip and we're going to look at a couple more trees. So, um, before we say goodbye, we're going to, we're going to get up here in just a minute. We're going to go look at a couple trees. So, um, but right now we're going to make like a tree and leaf. <laughs> we'll see you in just a minute. All right, boys and girls, I have really been struggling with what is a tree and what's not a tree. So I might need a little bit of help here because look at this tree. It's got a nice trunk, but I don't see too many branches or leaves or, oh, this is not a tree. This is just a, oh, a metal pole in the ground. Okay, so that's not a tree. All right, let's, let's come over here. Ugh. Stay away from that tree. It looks a little bit shady. That was great. Come on. All right. So let's come over here. Hmm. Oh, now, so this. Right. Birds live in trees, right? And a bird would live in there. And I see a trunk. So, so I think that's a tree. Is that a tree? Oh, it's even shaking no at me. It's like, no, Mr. Calhoun, I'm not a tree. <laughs> no, that's just a pole with a birdhouse on it. You are correct. Thank you for shaking no at me. Hmm. Now this, I see a trunk and some branches and some leaves. Okay, I think this is going to be a tree. Let's see if I can get better at this. My... No. I guess it's not a tree because that's metal and it doesn't grow. No branches or leaves. All right, I think I'm getting better at this. Thank you so much for helping out. Uh, Miss White and I are so glad that you joined us this week for our lessons on trees and just take care of each other, be safe, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.